the number of births which has taken place in 2020 is less than that of 2019. So the difference between the birth rate and death rate will tell how our population is growing. In developed countries, infant mortality is very less compared to the developing countries also. A lifespan of a human is there that is more because of again medical facilities and all the modern facilities which we have. Hello my dear students, welcome back to session 1 on the chapter Human Population and the Environment. What is population? Population means a group of individuals of the same species who are living at a particular area at a given time. What is it? For example, human beings are of the same species. Correct? So, if this is a particular area, okay, at a particular time, okay, how many individuals are there? If I count them, if I put together, then we call it as the population, okay. So, what is population density also we need to know. Population density is number of individuals of the population per unit area per unit volume in one particular unit area okay this is one 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 length into breadth into height volume also if i take in this particular unit area and unit volume how many individuals are there the number of individuals number of individual If we count that is called as population density. Now if you go to the metro cities like Bombay and even places like Bangalore. In one unit area the number of people who are there okay number of individuals who are there is really very high if compared to other regions. Thus we tell it is densely populated or the population density in Delhi or in Mumbai is really very high because it is highly populated area. In one particular unit area, the number of people who are living is really very high compared to any other village where you know one particular unit area there is a very small amount of people. So, where there are number of individuals are less, we call them as thinly populated or population density is really less and in metro cities usually population density is really very high okay next is parameters affecting population so what are the parameters which are actually affecting the population okay first is the birth rate or the nationality birth rate what is the meaning of birth rate or nationality Number of live births per 1000 people in population in a given year is called as birth rate. What is it? How many live births are there? Okay. Live births means how many babies are born per 1000 people. Okay. Per how many people? Per 1000 people. In a population in a given year, we call it as the birth rate. In India, there are 17.592 births for every 1000 people in a given year in our population according to census of 2020. Okay, And the birth rate is reduced by 1.2 percent from 2019. That means the number of births which has taken place in 2020 is less than that of 2019. By how much percent? By only 1.2 percent. Okay. So, that is the meaning of birth rate. Next is death rate or mortality. Mortality or death rate. At what speed the you know, there is a death which is taking place that is called as death rate. Okay. So, number of death per thousand people in a population in a given year, we call it as the death rate. Okay. Next is immigration. 
okay immigration it denotes the arrival of individuals from the neighboring population how many people have arrived to india of a different nationality that is immigration okay so how many individuals have come to india to live that is immigration okay in a given year of course next emigration it denotes the disposal of individuals from the original population to new areas how many nris are there how many indians have left out or they have been disposed to a different area who were actually belonging to our population that is the emigration okay so these are the four parameters which actually are affecting the population so what are they birth rate death rate immigration and emigration okay next we have the population growth what is this population growth population growth results from the difference between the rate of birth and the rate of death what is it it is a result of the difference between the birth rates and the death rate okay so that difference is telling whether the population is growing extensively or there is a small increase in the population as of now if you see from 1930 onwards if we come and if you see somewhere around 1975 okay the population has reached from 1 billion to 4 billion later now the population is 6 billion okay now it is actually more this is according to the old census and it reaching it is going to reach 10 billion in 2050 as per world bank calculation okay so according to the world bank calculation in 2050 the world population the global population is going to reach 10 billion that is the amount of population growth that we have in the world okay next is the causes for the population growth if you see first one due to decrease in death rate and increase in birth rate the decrease in death rate is because of the medical facilities which we have now if we compare the conditions which were there in the olden days and now the modern society and we have the sophisticated system uh, the amount of medical help which people are getting the death rate has been reduced considerably and the birth rate is actually increased and that is the reason for the population growth even if you see the infantile birth death rate that is the uh, newborn baby death rate if you see that is also continuously or drastically reduced because of the medical facilities which we have been uh able to get okay so the availability of antibiotics immunization increased food production clean water and air decrease in famine related deaths and infant mortality are the main causes for reduction in the death rate and increase or i can tell the birth rate has been increased the poverty and illiteracy led control growth of population child marriages has been reduced again because there is illiteracy and poverty has been controlled again you know population has uh, you know controlled in a way but then still there is child marriages which is causing the population growth people superstition people believe that it is because of god's grace that we are going to have uh, children okay it is because of god's grace we are not supposed to kill any child or any fetus this superstition is something which is responsible for population growth as well in certain parts of india at least okay so these are some of the reasons why there is population growth next is about the characteristics of the population growth first one is the exponential growth population growth occurs exponentially that is if it is 10 after a year almost a year it is 10 to the power 2 100 100 can become 1000 1000 can become 10000 and due to this exponential growth of the population 
there is dramatic increase in the global population in past 160 years. This is one of the characteristic which we have observed. Next is the doubling time. The time required for the population to double its size at constant annual rate is called as doubling time. And this can be calculated by using the formula Td is equal to 70 by R, where R is the annual growth rate. For example, annual growth rate is 2. Then Td is 70 divided by 2. So the doubling time will be 35. Okay. So the doubling time will be 35 years. But if the annual growth rate is only Okay, so that is how we calculate the doubling time. Next is the infant mortality. If you see from past 50 years, the infant mortality is drastically reduced because of the medical help again. There is antibiotics, there is immunization, uh, the clean conditions in which the babies are born etc etc has reduced the infant mortality drastically and also this differs widely in developing and developed countries in developed countries infant mortality is very less compared to the developing countries also the next is Total fertility rate, TFR. What is the meaning of TFR? Average number of children delivered by a woman in her lifetime. So, how many children a woman is delivering in her lifetime? That average, if you take, we call it as total fertility rate. In developed countries, the total fertility rate is 2. That is, every woman can is delivering two children but in developing countries you can see it is 4.7 okay so you can see the difference here the ratio should be fairly balanced in the society for reducing the population next is the demographic transition now if you see the population growth is reducated to economic development the birth rate as well as the death rate, if you see, they are in a balanced condition such that that is because of the improved living condition and this result in low population growth and that is called as the demographic transition where the population growth is really very less, okay, then we call it as the demographic transition. So, these are some of the characteristics of the population growth. So, what is it? Once again, Exponential growth, doubling time, then infant mortality, then we have total fertility rate as well as the demographic transition. Next is the variation of population among the nations. So if you see among the nations, how is the population growth varying? Let's see. First we have at present the world population has crossed 6 billion. Less developed countries like Africa, Asia, South America have 80% population while developed countries have got only 20% of the world population. That means the developed countries have very less population compared to that of the developing countries. The most developed countries like USA, Canada, Australia population increases by less than 1%. The population growth is very less in the developed countries but is less developed countries or the developing countries if you see the population is increased by more than 1% a year. Okay. Also Kenya is the fastest population growing country in the world when 20 million are residing only in Kenya 20 million people are residing that is the fastest population uh, growth country we can tell next China and India has a share of one third of the world's population they are highly populated country as well we know that isn't it Europe has almost 14 percent of the world population again so that is the variation of the population among the nations Next, we have variation of population based on age structure. So, population, if you, you know, vary or if it is based on age structure, how can we classify which are the age groups, uh, you know, which are 
club together if you see it's of three types that is pre productive population we call first type of population based on age okay that is 0 to 14 years whoever is there belongs to pre productive population reproductive population is 15 to 44 years and post product reproductive population is above 44 years so this is the way it is classified based on the age the variation of population based on the above three classes that means now we are going to learn the variation of the population based on the pre productive age group post reproductive age group and the reproductive age group first type is the pyramid shaped variation in population in india bangladesh ethiopia algeria reproductive population is more okay in comparison to pre reproductive population and post reproductive population that means if i put the age scale here okay zero to 10 uh, 10 to 20 i can go on up to 90 like this somewhere here i have a very small number here also is quite less but the productive reproductive age group you can see it is really very high okay so the reproductive age group is more compared to the post reproductive and the pre uh, reproductive age group then we call it as a pyramid shaped uh, variation in population and here it is always increasing because the reproductive age group is huge okay next it is bell shaped variation of population in france usa uk canada etc pre reproductive population and reproductive population is more or less equal and hence population growth is stable so what we have the pre reproductive and reproductive they are almost equal you can see this if this is the age here reproductive and pre reproductive is same and the post reproductive is a little lesser that's all so here the growth population growth is very stable next one is the urn shaped variation in population in countries like germany italy sweden japan pre reproductive age group population is smaller than that of the reproductive age group population in the next 10 years the number of people in reproductive age group will be less than before resulting in decrease in population so we will get an urn shape because the pre reproductive age group is very very less compared to that of the reproductive age group and this can lead in decrease in population as well okay so that's about the variation of population based on the three classes next is causes for population explosion why is the population increasing this very high or this very fast if you see one is invention of modern medical facilities reduce the death rate and increase the birth rate which leads to the population explosion death rate is decreased birth rate is increased next is increase in life expectancy in another important reason for population explosion in 1956 the average life expectancy of a human being was 40 years but now it is 61 years the amount of or the number of years uh, what a life span of a human is there that is more because of again medical facilities and all the modern facilities which we have next is illiteracy is one of the reason for population explosion okay so these are the causes for population explosion next if you see the effect of population explosion or what is the impact of population explosion which we have if you see population explosion leads to environmental degradation population explosion leads to poverty environment is degrading around us it is leading to poverty because of the huge population next population explosion causes over exploitation of the natural resources we are exploiting the forest resources water resources food resources land resources very very much and this leads to the shortage of resources for the future generation and that's the reason we have to go to 
sustainability concept more so that our future generation will have all these natural resources intact for their use as well okay next increase in population will increase diseases economic equity and also command wars as well and then forest grassland are under threat because of the population explosion not only this also the main reason for growing unemployment is the growing population so many people who are unemployed even after having a very good education you don't get good jobs because of the population the opportunities are really very less okay educating vast population is a very big task about population control or population growth population explosion is a main cause for pollution of the air land water as well as a noise pollution disposal of plastic and wastage is another problem because of our overpopulation scarcity of fuel is also due to the population explosion so you can see population huge population is having all these problems so if i go to the root of all the problems which we are seeing in and around us the degradation of the environment the pollution uh, you know unemployment poverty all of this the main reason if you see it is because of our growing population isn't it so i hope you have understood about the population explosion what are the causes how there is a variation in population so thank you my dear children stay tuned for more updates